The Robert Sorby RS215 KT Chatter Tool is used to produce unique patterns and decoration on end grain work. The tool comprises a handle, shaft and a clamp assembly into which two double ended cutters can be fixed. The first of these has a bead or rounded over end and the opposite end has a cove shape. The second cutter has one face flat and one with a V point. The kit also includes a multi-face scraper blade. The cutters are stamped from a special grade of spring steel to allow them to flex in use and there is no burr present on these cutters initially. This burr is important as it is the burr hooking into the wood that causes the tool to chatter and create the pattern. The burr can be formed in several different ways. Using a diamond file will produce a fine burr on the cutter. Touching lightly against a bench grinder wheel will produce a heavier burr. If doing this with the cutter held in the tool, ensure that the cutter blade is withdrawn up into the clamp to allow only a small protrusion over the edge. This will ensure that the blade does not chatter as it is applied to the spinning wheel. The only exception to this is the cove shaped cutter. This is best sharpened using a half round diamond file or slipstone as it is not possible to sharpen this shape with a flat grinding wheel. With a piece of end grain timber prepared and mounted in the lathe let's have a look at the tool in use. There are many different patterns and effects that can be produced with a chatter tool so we can only hope to cover the basics here. The first thing that will have an effect on the pattern produced is the amount of the cutter that is allowed to protrude beyond the end of the clamp. The greater the amount of overhang the more the tool can flex and this will result in a heavier more spacious pattern. Reducing the amount of overhang will minimize the amount the cutter can flex by and would normally produce a tighter more closely spaced pattern. As a starting point I would suggest having about one inch of the cutter extended.